Bonu, and welcome back to the February edition of MHC with Light. This one is the Merchant of Minecraft. The goal is to get as many emeralds as possible. Simple, straightforward. And some of the rules are a bit relaxed due to the, well, shady nature of certain merchants. We still can't sleep in beds, but the, uh requirement that you can't kill any animals well since we need to trade with villagers that might want some various forms of animal products if one just happens to fall into a furnace and just happens to end up in our mouths well no one's getting disqualified for that so we still got our various other mhc's here we're starting a new one Do -do -do. mhc feb 2015 in hardcore the world type is large biomes, definitely need the structures, and the seed is 2043. And here we go. The 20 minute episodes still hold. It's daybreak to daybreak, starting at day zero. And once I hit the ground, I will start my timer and get myself going. So let's look around. We got some trees over there, so that means the village should be this way. We've got some bunnies. As always, we want to jump as little as possible until we know we've got a viable food source. Hello, viable food source. But then again, we might not want to eat the pigs. That might be cutting into our revenue. So we've got tons of pigs, tons. It's gonna be thoroughly, thoroughly ironic if there's no butcher. <laughs> so we've got a nice path leading up to the village. We've got tons of wheat, and we should harvest this before they get to it. So we definitely want to harvest as much as we can. Hey! Hey! Hello, piggies. Nope. No! Mine! Okay, everything else seems pretty well harvested, so we might need to sequester that guy before we actually get too frustrated and kill him. Because he's a farmer, so he's gonna want farmer type things. Leather worker wants leather. Emerald for pants. So which sorts of things do you start off with? Wheat, we don't have enough of. Potatoes! carrots and we can buy bread so we really need to sequester him sooner rather than later because all these brown coats are stealing our food or we could hey don't go in there it's dangerous in here he wants pigs you need to get out of here Go! Go! So, we definitely need to block off that cave. ASAP. Like, I'm gonna prioritize that above getting tools. Where'd he go? Is he further in? Okay, so it's just dark. It's not the end of the world. But we do need to block it off. So, fishermen, string and coal. Coal will be easy. Fletcher. So, if we can find a Ruined mineshaft, like an abandoned mineshaft, that would be optimal. I don't see any clerics yet. Shepherd, ooh, shepherd would be good if we can find some sheep. Oh man, yeah, they're all so many string requests. Okay, so we've got wheat, some more carrots. Part of me just wants to take all of them. Now, 
we don't want to trade them all in right away. But it could be good to unlock some of the later trades to see what else they want. But they do want a lot of carrots. Hmm. You're the shepherd. And we're... Okay, 21, 17. So let's do one trade here. Keep a lot of carrots. Let him do that. We'll eventually round up the pigs and start breeding them. Okay. Pumpkins. No good. So, our plan here. We definitely need to wrangle up all of the villagers and get them at least in a manageable area. So I'm going to break down a couple of doors to get them on the same side of town. If I can get them away from these crops, all the better. Okay, so no doors over here. Let's get rid of this door as well. I want to get them all over onto the other side of town. Now, getting them all in here might have been good. But we'll see what we've got over here. Because they can fit in there. They can hide in there. Oh, hello. Cleric. Gold and meat. As fun as it would be to make a pigman farm, I don't think it's the way to go. Okay, so we've got these guys here. Let's get to this edge of town. Well, that's an interesting place for that. And hit our F3 screen. 218, 138. So 138. So let's go quite a ways this way. We want to be far enough out that when night falls, they don't kick the bucket. Ooh, these could be good. Um, I did not see a librarian, so we're going to have to go without the book trades. The 12 carats should carry us. Let's see. We're probably getting far enough away, but I want to go even further. Oh, I forgot to get wood from the town. So we need to get to that forest pronto. Got a couple of minutes. We've got a decent amount of food. We've got a decent amount of pigs, sheep, horses. Nice. Uh, we've got the resources necessary to do well for ourselves. So I need to go... Ow. That was bad damage. But it's not UHC. <laughs> so we've got... A couple of minutes to be able to get up here, get some wood, make a crafting bench, get ourselves underground. If we can get an apple, that would be great. I have a feeling a lot of people will be going underground in this general area. Because there's easy access to stone to make the first pick. It's the first trees that you see. So a lot of people will end up over here. We need that. Let's just convert all of that. Three sets of sticks. Okay, so there should just be stone right inside. It's the side of a mountain. You generally know what to expect. Make ourselves a better pick. Am 
make ourselves a better axe. And now we chop down trees until we have to go underground. So strategies for this particular challenge. Our best bet is to get pretty well geared up at the beginning to get what we need to survive uh, mineral wise, but our best trades are going to be livestock. So the best thing that we could find underground, skelly spawner. The second best thing we could find would be an abandoned mine shaft, both for the string you get from cobwebs and the unlimited spiders. But you always have to remember that the trades do get locked out. You can't just assume you'll be able to get by with just the one type of trade. So even though we can have carrots for days, it might lock us out and we'll need potatoes. I don't remember seeing any taters on that farm. Now, we're probably not going to get as much wood as I would like. Because we spent more time than we probably should have in the village. Oh, donkey! Several donkeys. Okay, so now we're going to be getting underground. Let's block this off. Okay, so we need... Sorry about the darkness. I'll fix it in a moment. So we throw all this in there, throw down a furnace, three, one, two, now we've got some light. Now I'm going down at a slightly shallower angle than you're probably accustomed to because I don't want to jump much on the way back up. Oh. I do love my slabs. Okay, so now we can make ourselves our first batch of torches. Hopefully we'll get some coal before we run out. Okay. And we'll take these with us. Because we don't want to forget them yet again. Uh, let's put our carrots on the bar, because we do need to eat. Uh, but is it better to eat the carrots or some bread? Carrots are good for pigs. Let's make some bread. Okay, and down we go. Now, we don't need any of the fancy blocks because this is a get the most of whatever challenge and no villagers buy those blocks. Which is a little odd. You should have some sort of mason that buys and sells stone of some sort or other. Like obsidian should be worth quite a bit. It's a nice strong material. Villagers should want that sort of thing. And some crazy villager should have it. And I don't have a shovel. And, well, that's annoying. <laughs> Probably should have started from lower. But that's okay. I mean, it... It's not bad. We're clearing out space that could have iron in it, I think. We might not be low enough for iron, actually. 
but I don't mind. We did really well in the last challenge. We don't have to go too crazy on this one. So the livestock is likely our best chance. We're not going to be able to set up a crazy enough pigman farm to get all of the rotten flesh and gold that we would need. It helps having the villagers nearby when setting up a nice zombie farm. So we just really need to set up a way of getting all of them to a single location. Okay, so here's probably a good place for our bench. Make some more cobble. Slabs and continue our descent. And at this point, we're going to listen for mobs, try to find a spawner, and hopefully be able to farm some mobs. Because if we can find a skelly spawner, we're set for life. Because bones will help the vast majority of things we could sell. If we get some iron, we can make armor and swords and shields. Uh, shears, not shields. Shears, such that we can shear the sheep. Uh, how far have we gone? Because we don't want to end up under the ocean. We're still in the forest hills. Um, yeah, we're still on day zero. We're about 15 minutes in, so we should be at about midnight. Still have found a whole lot of nothing. No iron, no coal. That's what really surprises me, is the complete lack of coal so far. We're a whole pick in, and we haven't found any coal. Might have been better served by finding a cave and going caving, but we wasted a lot of time, so we didn't have a chance to make a good sword. And this is why we use the slabs. We can come up here and not use up much food. And back to work. Now, I don't expect there to be tons of variety in the way people accomplish this challenge, but you never know. Somebody might find um, a dungeon with a saddle, tame one of those horses, and then go riding around killing every passive mob in a 500 block radius. That would be kind of fun. I'm not sure that's the way to go, but I th it might be. Because you'd have a significant speed advantage over everybody else. And if you were able to keep that potential particular butcher relatively well unlocked. Uh, we need more wood. So let's do one, two, three. One, two, three, four. So yeah, if you could keep those trades unlocked by going back and forth and back and forth, it would actually probably work out pretty well for you. It Diversification might help more, but if I find a saddle, I might be too tempted to not do that. But at this point, I still haven't heard any mobs. I did set it to hardcore, right? <laughs> but maybe this entire area is just solid stone. Yeah, this does not exactly make for riveting entertainment, but after the end of last season, maybe you could stand to have a little relaxation. We had some uh, rather nail-biting moments in that one. Okay, so we come back on up, grab that, and start smelting. 
So we don't have much use for redstone or, um, well, I suppose gold has its place because that uh, cleric did want gold. But it, it's still a lot of gold for not much in the way of emeralds. If you were feeling particularly brave, you could try to find an extreme hills biome and just go mining. But I wouldn't want to deal with the silverfish. You can get emeralds. Not sure you get more emeralds than you would by playing legit, but it's certainly a way to go. But with, also with the large biomes, it might be a long walk. Long walk. Now, the sun should be coming up soon, so we might want to just go back up top, make ourselves a bunch of cobblestone walls, and make our way over to the village. Um, let's take this out, let that finish, and then hightail it out of here. Our tail is so high. Let's check our, yep, day one. So we will start at this crafting bench, and I will see you in the next episode of MHC with Light.